Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I've been getting a lot of comments of like, how much is the salary? What do you get paid? What can I expect to make? You know, and I understand like that's super important because the last thing you wanna do is go to school for two years, study, long nights, you know, no hanging out with friends, you know, missing family events, and you know, just not being yourself or, or um, I'm not saying not having fun because school is a journey itself and school is also fun because you meet new people, you you network and you build lifelong relationships, you know, so it's a beautiful thing to also go through because your friends that don't go to school, they don't experience that, you know what I mean? And that's something that, you know, your memories will always forever live on. So it's 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 a great thing to go through, right? It doesn't matter what you do, whether you're, you go to welding school, and, or whether you become, you know, a radiology tech or whether you become a doctor, it don't matter. School in general is an awesome experience and something that you will forever always hold with you and always be with you, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you, you network, you meet different people and, you know, school is enjoyable. But anyway, the salary part, it's hard to determine. Um, I picked three states and it's all public record. I picked three states that... Um, I kind of like the most talked about, you know, like I live in Florida. So of course I'm gonna show you the Florida one. Um, Texas is a big, uh, uh, Texas is a big um, state that a lot of people talk about going to because uh, the cost of living is super cheap compared to anywhere else around the country. And California is always there. California is always a place that a destination a lot of people want to go to, but the cost of living is crazy expensive over there. It's crazy expensive. Um, so that's what I want to show you guys today, you know, like the average salaries and, and the salaries can give or take, you know, um, so anyway, so the first one I'm going to do is my home state, Florida. You see that? You see that, st that salary? Now it says anywhere between 59 and 60 K, I believe. I think, uh, I'm not good at math, but I'm guessing that's around 20, 23 bucks an hour, maybe 24, something like that. Just keep in mind, like, Florida's getting expensive, especially where I work. I work in Naples, and Naples, Florida is expensive. Not only that, man, the, um, the rent, like say, okay, I don't wanna buy anything and I wanna rent. I kid you not, the, there, I seen, I was looking, um, me and my wife were looking the other day and the rent in Naples, Florida for a 2-2, I think it's a condo or a townhouse, a 2-2 for like 25 to three grand a month. That is crazy. You know, to me, I couldn't afford that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just way too much money. Like you would, you would basically be working just to pay rent, not even to buy food or gas or anything else. Like it's, I don't understand how people can afford that. Like, I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of money out there to make and, you know, um, but dude, that's a lot of money, you know, so Naples, Naples, Florida in general is getting expensive. But like I said, that salary is based off regular pay. That's not based off overtime. That's not based off differential pay. Um, that's not based off weekend differential pay. That's not based off incentives you get. That's not based off, um, um, that's not based off, um, what's that word? like bonuses. Um, so there's a lot of factors that go into the salary that they give you, you know, and it also depends where do you work? Are you gonna work in a hospital? Are you gonna work in an urgent care? Are you gonna work for a mobile x-ray company? Um, so all that takes a factor. And I honestly believe that the hospitals pay the most uh, and the hospitals have the most, um, how can I explain it? Like the skills ladder, like to move up, it's better because you can always cross train in other modalities, whether it's MRI or CT. So a hospital is always, when you first start off, a hospital is probably the always best, the best place to start off at, unless they give you a crazy schedule, like overnight, things like that. And if you have a family and you don't want to do that, that's more than understandable. Trust me. Um, the time you get at work, man, away from your family, away from your kids, you will never ever get back. So that's something to think about. So, um, but yeah, so that, that it depends where you work. So this one right here is for Texas. 
Now, Texas, I honestly thought they get paid more. This one that says um, they're at 61 to 63, I think. Now, the cool thing about Texas, though, is the cost of living is super, super cheap. Okay, I gotta say super cheap. Nothing's ever super cheap, right? But compared to like Florida and other states, it, you can buy a nice home, a nice two-story home, three, three or four, three, whatever, for like no more than 300K. You know, that's, that's pretty awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, not even in Florida can you look at a house that's a two-story, four, four, three or whatever, three, three, and you're paying 300K. There's no way, you know, it's just so expensive here. Um, and Texas is, I think this is kind of wrong because I think Texas, because I have family that lives in Texas and um, one of my cousins is in radiology and he gets, he, he's a tech. And I think he gets paid like 30 bucks an hour. And he's just a regular RT. Not that there's nothing wrong with it, I'm just saying he's just a regular RT. Um, these salaries are not counting if you're dual certified like CT, MRI, you know if you're if you're in a lead position you know so all like i said salaries are so hard and so touchy because you just don't know you just don't know you know how much people make you know um or how much you're going to start you off at only you will know that and everybody's different so i don't make the same as other texts other texts don't make the same as myself it's just so totally different but i can tell you though the the state of texas is and it was i'm not sure honestly i haven't really checked but at least last year when we were looking through houses is one of the cheapest places to live at. And you get a very, very nice home. Um, this last one right here, this is Cali, man. Yes, that says 70K. Um, I think you can actually, honestly can probably make a little more. But California, California is so expensive to live in. I've never been there. But, you know, we get nosy and we go through Zillow or Trulia and we look at different states because we always kind of like in our mind, you know, we want to move somewhere, you know, how, how is it is expensive. What's, and California is super crazy expensive, man. Like, I know Compton is like one of the, like, the, um, the hardest, like a rough neighborhood to live in in California. And we we're looking at um, a house the other day. I should have took, took pictures to actually show you guys. But it was, um, I think it was like a 2-2, and it was like 400,000. And it's like, and then one of the roughest neighborhoods, and it's like, how, if that's 400K, how much would a decent neighborhood be? And not even a great neighborhood, how much is a decent neighborhood? You're probably looking at 800,000 for a home, a regular home, like a 3-2, 1,500 square feet, you know, it's crazy expensive out there you know what i mean it's crazy expensive and um that's a good idea i mean i know you can do your own research but i probably do like a kind of like a um like how much it it everywhere's cost and is it worth you going for or going to live there because of how much or how everything's expensive but anyway cali is super expensive then you have to worry about um what is that earthquakes like that's kind of scary. Can you imagine being in, at home and all of a sudden the whole house shakes like, nah, nah, player, I can keep that. At least I'm in Florida where I know that 99% of the chance, you know, when a hurricane's coming, we know two weeks ahead of time, like, hey, man, you better tighten up, man, because, you know, hurricane something's coming, you know, so you at least have a heads up on what can happen, you know, or what's about to come. Um... But with all this crazy climate, weather change, and everything, man, only, only God knows, man, what what's going to happen that week or that day from one minute to the next, it can flip, man. So we're living in crazy times right now. But anyway, man, I hope that this helped you guys with the salary thing. If you have any comments, if you have anything to you want me to talk about next, let me know. Um, thank you guys as always. Till next time.